Hello viewers, Ms. Kel here. As promised, uh, we're talking about the uh, VOC and the step charge that is seen when you get the setup that you see on the Myers, Stanley Meyer end of the uh, cell where you've got a diode and a coil on either side of the cell. So Coming out of the minus side of the signal, we have a coil, and coming out of the plus side, we have a coil, but there's a diode on the uh, back end of the plus side one. Um, that's just tickling along there at half a watt, but what we want to look at and dial into is the step charge that is happening and we need to go closer. Uh, so yellow is the signal uh, just here, across there. It's floating, I should uh, connect that to there. Okay, so we're scoping the output of the Lawton's um, The Lawton circuit is uh, running this fit switch. And so that's what's doing the switching. Now, here we are looking at what we want to look at is right here at the front of this blip. So, see this curve? That's all we want. We need to be sending a signal that's that short and drop straight off and do it all over again. Okay? So, we're going to start shortening the distance between the pulses. One blip with a bunch of pulses in there. So let's have a look at that one. Come on, let's catch one. Oh, come on. Anyway, you get the idea. So this, uh, the signal looks like that until you put the coils on. So the coils are providing the extra height and the, um, the burst type signal that the diode turns back into. So let's uh, turns back into um, AC. So what we're going to get is if we get to the point where um, it's not quite enough, you'll see that the whole thing just disappears. Dial that out. Uh, let's speed up the pulse. So yeah, if we here we are there, right? See, we've still got the burst signal that we're witnessing at this point here. Without the coils, it would just be flat. But um, with the coils, we get this burst situation. And as soon as we get to uh, the being enough density to the pulse train, watch what happens. Bang. Straight to a step curve. No ripples about it. It just loses all the ripple and just goes... Pop, there we go. Pop. So we're right on the edge of it.
but we're giving it a rest time so we want to go again and get rid of that uh, gap in the middle we have to change settings here There we get a doubling. It's like a birthday cake with candles on top, isn't it? So there you can see we're kicking into that step charge function that we're looking for. Oh we at? 1.2 watts. How does that look? It's not fantastic. And we don't uh, have the high voltage portion yet, so a little piece at a time. Perfect. So there you go, step charge.